What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lure Painting with Zach Baker. I'm Zach Baker and today we're doing another easy lure pattern for beginners. Today's choice of blank is another one of those medium divers sent over from Barlow's Tackle. So if you're interested in this blank, I will have it linked below. Also, you might notice there's a table behind me now. That's because we filmed our very first Baker Builds Tackle the Dream podcast. That'll be coming out tomorrow on Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. Let's not waste any more time. We'll go ahead and jump into painting this bait. Okay, I already got this bait with a nice base coat of white and I have the color set up again because I think that was pretty helpful last time. Uh, so we're not gonna be spraying any white because I did that as the base coat, it's kind of boring. But what we're going to do is go ahead and move on to our next color, which is going to be uh, a wicked blue. And what we're going to be doing is spraying this blue real lightly, as light as we can down the center line of the bait. And then I also made a little stencil pattern because I want the gill plate to be uh, as blue as I can get it without it going over on everything else. So I'm going to start off with going down the side of the bait. And then I'm going to be putting the stencil pattern up here. And all this is is cardstock that I cut out to the shape of the gill plate. And we're going to go and fill this in to be a nice blue. And I'm going to do all the way up to the nose of the bait. And then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. And I'm actually going to go ahead and darken up that side line just a little bit. Next color we're going to be doing is a pearl copper. And I'm actually almost out of this, so I just picked up some more the other night, and the color of it's changed. It's now called a pearl satin gold. Uh, I haven't sprayed it yet, but they look like the same thing to me. So if you can't find pearl copper, uh, look for the pearl satin gold. And what we're gonna be doing with that is covering everything up here. And the gold, we're not gonna go down past that blue line we did. We're gonna kind of let it go over top the blue just a little bit, but I don't want to really change the color. It's just gonna have a little bit of the sparkle uh, from the gold on it. And that's all we're going to do with the gold. Next up is a bright red and it's transparent. You can use opaque too, doesn't matter. And we're gonna be spraying that on the belly right here, right where the lip meets the body of the bait. And we're gonna come up to where this first eyelid is and then do just a little bit back here on the tail end of it too. Okie doke, uh, we are ready for the stencil pattern. This is gonna be a really quick bait. Uh, I'm gonna hit this with a hairdryer, clean out the brush, and we're gonna move on to putting a stencil pattern on and spraying our last color. Here's the uh, stencil that we're gonna be using today. It's just some nice little circles. Uh, I always like to make sure that the circles are match about the size of the bait, if that makes any sense at all. I don't want giant circles on a smaller blank like this. I kind of like it when they're a little bit uh, smaller circles. Goes with the size of the bait a little bit better. All right, stencil pattern is on. And what I'm going to do is I've got the transparent black loaded up in the brush, uh, which I had hidden behind the camera. And uh, we're going to go just where it starts coming over, where that blue is. Going to pretty well avoid the gill plate as much as we can for now and then cover the whole back of it. And on stuff like this, I like to start at the back. That way you can kind of see how thick the paint's coming out and then start coming down over the blue. Now I'm not gonna go a solid black with it. I'm gonna go a little bit darker than where it is right now, but I don't want it to be a solid, solid black on the sides. We kind of still want it to be transparent where some of that gold's still going to show through the black. So pretty well just like that. I'm going to hit this with the hairdryer and then we're going to take off the stencil pattern and do some more black. Now I am going to go ahead and spray the back of it till it gets completely black. And then we're also going to do it up around the eyes, solid black, but still leaving most of that gill plate blue. And 
and kind of leaving the front of his mouth blue as well. Last thing that we're going to paint is we're going to do like a shad dot on the side. Now you can either use just the airbrush and spray a little dot. Uh, I know since a lot of since this video is an easy pattern for beginners, uh, what definitely helped me out when I started doing this was just taking a little hole punch and punching it in a piece of paper. This is just a piece of cardstock and then holding that up and then you get a perfect little dot. I do like when you just use the airbrush, it kind of makes it look a little bit more natural. What I'm going to do is just put this line up right with the gill plate and then there's that center line of the bait. So I'm going to split the difference that way it'll match on both sides. Just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then make sure uh, in between this, cause you're gonna flip this over, that way you can line that up, that this side is dry. It never hurts to hit it with the hairdryer, that way you don't smudge black paint where you don't want it. Again, lining it up with the, putting this edge right to where the gill plate ends, and then splitting the difference on that middle line going down the side of the bait. And that's all there is to it. I think what I'm going to do, I have the back, dark as dark as i want it i'm gonna as lightly as i can kind of darken up these sides just a little bit that way there's a nice transition into the solid black on the back probably doesn't look like a whole lot changed on camera but there is a little bit there one thing i like about simple patterns like this is all you have to do is switch out one or two colors and you can have a completely different look to it i think it's the sexy shad which is a super popular pattern uh, so what i would do on that one is just do the blue down the side or do yellow down the side in the place of the blue and where we have the copper do the light blue and that pretty well gives you a sexy shad paint pattern if you guys want to see that one let me know and we'll paint that pattern as well uh, this bait is ready for some eyes so i'm going to pick those out real quick clean out the airbrush and we will be right back i also finally bought a big thing of gel super glue i think the last video i was running out which I actually need to throw those two away but they'll probably sit there for the next 10 15 videos uh the eyes that we're using today are these little squinty ones i like to call them dragon eyes or like snake eyes i think is what they're actually called uh, they got a little bit of blue turquoise color in them and i think that's going to go nicely uh, with this pattern one thing i can never decide is which way should the eye go when there's like the snake eyes should it go like that where it's like squinting or straight up and down i think both look good but for this one i'm gonna go straight up and down but let me know which way you guys do yours i do if uh you're really new to painting or this is the first video of mine you've seen uh, i recently discovered the gel super glue and it works so much better for gluing in the eyes and most eyes that you're going to get are going to have a sticky back to them i still put super glue on there just to make sure it's held in place once the clear coat goes on it shouldn't really go anywhere but it doesn't hurt to have that little bit of a little bit more strength to it just to keep them from popping out for you flip it over and do the same thing on this side also these eyes are from barlow's tackle as well if i can find them i will uh, put the link to those below as well and there we have it this bad boy is ready for clear coat so i'm going to let it air dry for a little bit get some clear coat on there and uh, we'll come back and take a look at what she looks like all finished up <laughs> Thank you. 